Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me. It's day nine. Ah, oh, yes. And I have an idea. What rank are we in Legend? What are we? We're, we're, there's only 5,243 people better than we are right now. And I, I figured that the best way to start a day off of laddering is just to do a, the stupidest deck I can imagine, which is the Explore Ungaro Warrior. So let's go ahead and go to it. And this is what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with, huh? I gotta say, it's it's weird, it's weird, it's weird to me being in Legend. It just feels weird. The way the ranking system and the rating system works, it feels very, it feels fucking odd as hell. And this is, this is something that I think is an important rant to go on for a moment because, um, actually, guys, do you want to start with a rant? Do you want to start today with a rant? Do I... <sighs> Ooh, it smells like the toothpaste I just used. Let's fix that. <sighs> smells like a man who drinks coffee to get shit done. Are we gonna begin with a rant? We're gonna begin with a rant? Okay. It's a rant. It's a rant about ladder systems and rating systems. One of my favorite rants. I love this rant. We're gonna rant it, okay? Are you ready? We're gonna do rants in a pants. We're gonna head and close we're gonna close we're gonna close this music. We're gonna close this music and we're gonna rant. Okay, here's the rant. We're gonna go ahead and stop for a moment. So that way we can do a pause for the incredible editor, Shannon. It's ranting time. For any of you who don't know, we have an editor named Shannon who's incredible, aka Narwhal's Ate My Sister. Um, she uh, she uploads all the highlight clips that you see being posted to my YouTubes, the ones that are linkable. Hmm. Okay, here's the thing. Here's a rant. Getting your rants ready? Here's a rant. Today I want to talk a little bit about rating systems versus ranking systems, what they are, what they mean, and why I feel a little bit weird in Legend, but not that weird, because let's be honest, I'm wearing, I'm actually wearing a Journey to Ungoro shirt, so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a Legend in itself. So, here's the thing, there is this confusion that comes up with a lot of people when they look at a ladder system, an ELO system, a rating system, something like this, and they think that it is a determination of skill. I've heard someone say that a tournament should determine who the best player is. By definition, no tournament system, rating system, any of these things, they do not measure skill. I, wa I want you to just digest that statement for a moment. They do not measure skill. They are not measures of skill. What they are, are measures of progress within that system. Now, that sounds really weird because it's hard to hit 9K MMR in Dota. So if your 9K MMR, doesn't that mean that you are good? What are you saying, that the 9K people are indistinguishable from the 1K people in skill? No, I'm not necessarily saying that. And we're gonna come to that in a moment. We're gonna come to that in a moment. I just want you to know I am gonna address this. But what I wanna step back to is the following thought experiment. Suppose we have a 16 person tournament. And suppose I'm an omnipotent god and I, I can craft out of thin air 16 identically evenly matched skillful people. They are the exact same skill level. What's going to happen? Well, in each of the matches, assuming that we are playing a game in which drawing is impossible, in each of these matches, one of these players is going to win or lose. So at the end of the tournament, you have a first, a second, a third, and fourth, a top eight, and all the people who got knocked out first round in the 16-person tournament. You have a winner, but all these people are identically evenly skilled. That tournament produced a stack ranking, but it again, we know because we are the omnipotent god that all these people are identically evenly skillfully matched. It does not mean that the winner was the person who was best that day. It does not mean that that winner is actually the person who's most skillful. That's just kind of what it means. You just it's, you just wind up with a stack distribute or a stack of um, rankings of how the people performed in the tournament. Again, imagine that we took these uh, let's say a hundred people who are evenly skillfully matched and we put them into a ladder. We know that every single match that is played on this ladder will be a 50-50 chance of winning, assuming that you cannot draw. So what winds up happening is that after all these people play, you will not wind up with all the people being even records. You'll wind up with what's called a bell curve, right? With a binomial distribution of some people will be like, oh, and whatever. Some people will be undefeated. Some people will be 
Um, most people actually be in the middle thereabouts. This is just what happens in these rating systems. Now, the important thing to note is the direction we're going in. I know the skill, and therefore I can see who has a chance of getting deep in these tournaments. Again, I know the skill, and I see who can get deep. For example, go back to our 16-person uh, instance. Let's say everyone's evenly matched except for one person who's way better than everyone else. This person has a 95% chance to win against the rest of the field. It is possible that this very skillful person loses first round, dead last. That 5% happens in the very first round, this person gets eliminated, and suddenly we have not the best player in first, not the best player in second, not the best player in the top four, not the best player in the top eight, but actually the best player being eliminated first round, right? And I want, to, I want to stress, think of the direction that we're going in. I know the skill level, therefore I can talk about this outputted result. Now, in reality, we are not omnipotent gods and we have no ability to specifically identify what someone's skill level is. There's no clear, strong definition of skill. Imagine that you received a result of a tournament that has a first, second, third, fourth, top eight, top 16. And I say, who's the best player here? Just based on this. It's hard. You can't give an accurate answer to that because could be the case the best player just kind of had a you know fucking hit that five percent and he got eliminated in the first round. That could be the case. And what we wind up seeing though is that there is a correlation with your ability to progress in a tournament or in a ladder system with your skill. There's a correlation between your ability to progress and your skill, which means if you have someone like a bunch of random, you know, people who are just like platinum level StarCraft players, you drop Polt in there, it is very likely that Polt consistently makes it to the end. So if you say had 10 of these tournaments, you'd be able to say, damn, look at Polt consistently getting in the top. Based upon my understanding of data analysis and statistics, we can say that it is highly likely that he is more skillful on average than those other people. You, you can do you can talk about the correlation there and so for instance doing something like getting to 9k in dota that's very hard because there comes a point where if you if you're at 50 50 win rates when you're you know say at the 3k bracket and then you win some games but you have not gotten better suddenly you'll be at like a 30 percent chance to win in your games and it's still possible for you to go up with 30 percent chances to win and then you're getting to a point where you're at like two percent chance to win because the people that you are playing with are better. <laughs> like, because the probability of the good people climbing up in the ladder, okay, I gotta make sure I say this properly. The probability of skillful people advancing in the ladder is higher than the probability of unskillful people advancing in the ladder. Therefore, the average expectation when you are higher up in the ladder is that your win rate is lower if you are not improving in your skill. And so this is why people tend to go down. And so if you say something like, I have hit 4K MMR, I have hit 5K MMR, I've hit 6K MMR, these are actually significant milestones. And these are pieces of information someone could use to say, oh yeah, so-and-so is quite skillful. But it's very important that you note that they do not measure skill, right? They are not measurements of skill. They're just pieces of data, and most importantly, and one of the big points of this whole rant, is that they're fun. They're fun. They're fun. It's fun to strive to hit 3k MMR and to hit it. Yeah. It's fun to enter into a tournament and try to win it. Yeah. And I'm a big believer that any ladder system should, um, um, any ladder system should be fun to participate in. Like that should be the number one goal is that there's fun progress. And I say all this because now that I'm in Hearthstone and I'm hitting this legend rank, I didn't play Hearthstone for a few days and all of a sudden I've dropped 3000 points and that feels kind of weird. And this to me is one of the reasons why I like having ranking and rating both there. Ranking being how do you compare to everyone else and rating being some absolute number that you are ranked by. It's fun to be able to say, oh shit, man, I'm, st I'm, tri I'm striving towards 6,800 MMR. I went down in rank, but I'm still at 6,800. Let me try to hit 6,900. You can see this fixed thing that is moving, whereas everyone else might be going up and down and all that sort of stuff. You have a fixed thing to focus on and to work on. Um, 
Yeah. And I mean, th this is actually the thing that is so weird for me because every time I've been Legend, I should say the other time I was Legend, I hit it right at the end of the month, so it didn't really matter. But now that I'm at the spot where like I'm in Legend, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to, I don't know, I don't know. This rant is far too long to clip. Believe it or not, Nuclear Nibbles, clip has definitions outside of Twitch clipping. <laughs> I apologize to all of you who thought that I was going to rant about the nature of statistics and ladder systems in a short period of time. Uh, I don't know, I'm just going to keep the hand me, I don't care. Fire Spoon says, for example, I clip my toenails. Look at this. <laughs> Nuclear Nibbles says, oh, you. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Nibbles. Oh, shit. It's, uh, well, time to get infinite uh, health and die anyways, huh? An incredible discovery. And see, this is, uh, like, I think a really important thing to note. Yeah, I don't want to lose to Pirate Warriors, yeah. This is like a super critically important concept, the idea that your current status does not measure your skill. It's just a kind of piece of data that you might use to begin this discussion of this completely not agreed upon abstract idea of what my skill is. I actually think we need a journey to Angora really fast so we can, like, draw counter spells and hear secrets and shit like that. Woo! We're not even gonna need it anyways. Um, yeah, but I hear people say, like, oh yeah, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a platinum level player, but... I'm really at diamond in terms of my skill. Like, that, do that doesn't really mean anything. That's the equivalent of saying I ran a seven minute mile, but I did it in a way that was actually kind of more like a six minute mile. Like, it, it's not, it doesn't, it's, it doesn't have meaning. Nice! Sick! Oh, thank, thank golly goddamn. All right, let's draw it. Let's draw it. Here we go. Amazing. <laughs> it's really shitty. All right, we're going to get a big armor smith. I need to keep this alive so I have a, a slam target to draw next turn. I think this is like this this thing that's really hard. It's like a very subtle but critical difference, which is that if someone is progressing deep in tournaments consistently, progressing very high up in ranking and rating systems consistently, those are, in fact, indicators that they are more skillful in the field. <laughs> this dude gets so much armor. Oh, deck tracker. Thank you so much for reminding me. Forgive me, I got a little distracted. Boom. The flam. There's a big difference between an identifying measure of a skill. There's a big difference between an identifying measure of a skill and a piece of evidence that can be used to discuss that. It took me, like, ages to try to, like, get, because I was like, no, I mean, I hit, 
I hit A+, plus, therefore I'm better than the B-plus people. I just, I am. And you can say something like, that's because the probability of you actually being a go come on in the, uh... Alright, I guess, I guess I'll play this card now. played this one before, it's pretty cool. Tarlard. Should have attacked with this one first. Fuck. Well, should have played a Dark Speaker, huh? Swapped it with this guy. Aren't you glad we put the deck tracker up? <laughs> uh shit. Oh my god. Oh, I should have watched all of Kaparian's videos and taken them as gospel. You gotta play around that, huh? Friendly minion, I couldn't deal with an enemy. And do this weird play. You can say things like the probability of a player of a certain level of skill getting to B plus is dramatically higher than their probability of being able to get to A plus. But you also have weird things in a lot of rating systems where the rating system needs you to play lots of games for it to be able to make any determination. Could be good. Nah. Get the dark scale healer going, man. Woo! I mean, we have a lot of armor, but I don't know if it's going to help us. Fool's Bane, so tight. You know, there, there's things like in Dota, for instance, I have played not as many games as I could be playing. My win rate in my last 15 ranked games is quite high. And I'm at 2,900 MMR, so in theory, if I played more, I would be able to increase that. But I just have not done that. And the most that I can win or lose seems to be about 25-ish. At my current level. Must really want to run this off, huh? Alright guys, we have so much armor that we're still gonna lose. Damn, I just I just healed with the dark scale healer. Let's go. Oops. I love this card so much. This card is so tight. So even though I'm at 2900 MMR, perhaps I would be higher if I played more. Perhaps I'm on a weird streak and I've I'm going to be losing a whole bunch of games. Burning soda, what do you mean? All right, where's my eater of secrets? Let's get this guy down right now. Boom. And part of the reason why I've been thinking about this recently is that I've, one, I've, you know, hit Legend, and I almost feel a big lack of direction. Like, I guess, pick a top meta deck and go, 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 go. Why does it want me to have Nizoth so much? I don't think I've played any Death Rattle minions. Weirdest order ever, but whatever. Uh, uh, uh. 
Dude, guys, we're like so screwed. This guy's just gonna hit his way gate. He's like, he's got the whole deck in his hand. Yeah, the reason I'm thinking about it a lot is I just kind of, I, I guess I just climbed this, but it's so weird because after every game, I don't feel like I went up or down. I feel like I get surprised by a number. All right, where's that, where's that sweet eater of secrets, yeah? No way. Summon some murlocs from the deck, yeah? Oh shit, yeah, dude. My board's growing. But also, I just saw uh, some discussions about um, people making comments on the Kiev qualifiers or the Kiev, Kiev group stages for the Dota Major. Because I've been watching the Kiev Major every night when I wake up in the morning. It's still running, so I tune in. And I see, I've just been seeing people be like, well, yeah, but I mean. This team beat that team, which means they're the better team. And it's like... This is fucking tight, dude. This is awesome. This could be cool. Gadgets and Gazette always get us. Wait, that? It swaps and then it takes the stats. Shit. <laughs> Woo! 4-7 from heaven, baby. I mean, it would be it would be shocking to me if it didn't kill us right now. We're going to check out the new Heroes of the Storm 2.0 update. It didn't look like there were any gameplay changes in it, right? It's just a lot of collectible outgame stuff. Well played. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, it's this deck. You know what? I bet happens. Excuse I bet. Me. You are on fire. I mean, I'm gonna brawl. Like this is this is the most amazing brawl ever. Where's my eater of secrets? Yeah. I'm just fucking armoring, man. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I bet he still he just still has the Exodia combo anyways. If we win this, this would be the funniest shit in the entire world. It's Vladak! Oh yeah, no, dude, dude, Briggs Skellog, I'm 100% doing that sweet, sweet, juicy Brood War content. I bring life. How, how does he win from here is my question. Broodwar, Broodwar. I have a current woe with uh, Broodwar. I can show you it in a moment. Dude, that gives me a taunt. Don't you know? I bring life and hope. Okay. I mean, <laughs> my fucking win, man. I'm almost out of cards. Oh shit, I've only got one more in here. I had no idea it was that low. Fucking god. <laughs> oh my god, wait, one of these is take another turn. <laughs> wait, did I win this game? I had mentally given up on this thing, man. I was choosing meme cards non-stop. I mean, I was assuming that he would just... Inf no fucking way! I can't believe he lost. Oh my god. Oh my god, hundreds of ranks of improvement.
Oh my god, that is really funny. Oh god. Actually, what are my what are my quests? I gotta mulligan some of these victories, combo meal, play ten combo cards with Shaman or Warlock. Well I'm really close to this, so I may as well. Well, there you go. There it is! As we can see by the measure of skill, it is my ranking. We were talking about a topic that was incredibly interesting to me, and I can't remember it all. Look at the leaf. You can see through the leaf. Oh. I look like such a villain. Hold on, let me get another thing of spinach. Watch. Dude, I look I look like the bad guy in in <laughs> who framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Am I running sleep with the fishes? I think that's the change that I decided I needed to get in here and sleep with the fishes. And cut the cleave, cut the Iron Forge portal. Hmm. Hmm. Against a rogue. I don't know what I want to keep. I don't know, draw. I don't know. <clears throat> it, the move isn't clear. What kind of leaves are those? They're spinach. Spinach, spinach, baby spinach. Spinach, spinach, spinach. Hi, kitties. Hello. Oh, I got my babies on the castle. Look at this, look at this sick groom in action going on there. You can barely see it. See there, there's one there's one gray cat on top, and then in in the fort, or as we call it the general store, you can see a brown butt sitting outside the uh, side entrance. Mind if I roll me. Saw you on Dota earlier. Were we watching IG versus EG? Um I watched a few EG games. I watched EG versus Newbie this morning, and then I watched EG versus I think Faceless. Oh shit, he's a quest rogue, man. Oh my god, dude, I am. Wow, Team Secret is fucking three and O, dude. Secret, Secrets looked really good too. I don't know enough about drafting yet. I'm so awesome, I can't believe I put that fucking card in there. I'm awesome, man. Yeah, let's get out. Wouldn't World have been good to keep since he's probably running a bunch of 1-1s? Um, I don't necessarily think that he is. I'd like, I'm not even scared of the 1-1s, right? I don't really even need to clear him that much because whatever one that he wants bounced back to his hand, he's never going to leave it down. That was a mole. Actually, just shield and me slam it. Boom! Whoa! I'm a warrior. I always have it. So he's hit me with the burgle. Alright. We've got one brawl, which is nice! See, we want to draw deep before we hit him with the power of the Ungoro, man. The power of the Explorer on Goro. Let's see, who who else is doing good stuff? EG is two and two. Oh shit, they, they lost it. <laughs> Fuck. Lost fucking TNC, baby. TNC's doing pretty good. Drink with me, friend. Let's see. He's hit me with those sweet burgles. Muxy, launch live feed.
No way. I love it. I absolutely love it. Bye. You know what? Let's mill some cards. Let's try to mill the most important of his cards. My hand is too full. That's actually pretty good. My That's actually pretty good. Full. That's not great, actually. That's actually not great. Yes, we have hit him with the mill. I have two brawls, which is nice. I think I need a shitload of armor, though. I can't believe I gluttonous oozed him, man. That is, that is just tight, tight, tight. No way! No way! Oh my gosh! I guess I ping pong him right there or something. Depending on what he does. Is he gonna coin out a vanish? What? The Brotherhood shall prevail. Oh, yeah, it's like no problem, man. Dude, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? This is great. We beat a, beat a double turn mage. Wow. This is, this is, in a way, good for us. Like, I mean, I'm gonna, like, slam one, for sure. Slam. So I kind of want him to have to build a board first, so then I can roast him and toast him with the brawls. Yes. Father says, what kind of content is your upcoming Brood War show going to cover? It's going to be uh, a mix of a few things. What? It's so weird. Alright, so we, we, I mean, we have to kill this bad boy. None of these are that critical for me anymore. So, I mean, I gotta, I gotta hit the memes for sure. <laughs> this is, this is just to let him know, yeah, no, I'm, I'm running this one for sure. Is this better or worse? It's always better to do this. That's just so funny. <laughs> that's such a good card against him. <laughs> oh, shit, that's so funny, man. Slam him. It's better to keep the dude. I don't know. I don't know. So it's going to be fundamentals uh, that are going to span a variety of things. Fundamentals including here's how to think. Okay, actually. The whole purpose of the, of the series is going to be let's get you into Brood War. Both so you know how to play, but also so you know how to watch and you know how to appreciate. So there's going to be uh, pieces in there about appreciation. Look at this high level player. Let's talk about his play and what he did here and why that's cool and good and all that good jazz will certainly, no doubtably, be doing that sort of thing. Wow. Whoa. It's not that good for us. Not that good for us at all. The boar would be fine. The boar would be totally fine for it. Tis but a firefly. Um, so, you know, to get people into it, talking about the strategy, also the lore and the history of who players were, that sort of thing. I want to do some videos of that. Uh, the big bulk, though, is going to be about the learning of the game. Here's how the matchups work. Here's how you should hold your hands on the keyboard. Here is how to think about, um, what's going right and wrong in this particular game, and so on and so forth. None of these are good. 
None of these are good, baby. What now? I guess this. Cause I need to do something with it. This is certainly the funnier play. I hope you like my invention. I might just shield block and like do it again. Nice. Uh, gonna talk about each of the matchups. Like, here's how to think of the matchups. Um, probably do a bit on each unit. Here's a little bit about how each particular unit works, and so on and so forth. So probably gonna play this one. All right. So I think he just has. God, I'm actually almost out of cards. Am I gonna die in fatigue, man? Like, shield block is harmful for us. <laughs> Pretty smart hold by him, yeah. <laughs> Dying for deep, man. So yeah, um, oh, there's my water. I was wondering where I put that. Just put it a little bit far away. Yeah, we're gonna talk about. Okay, let me let me actually finish this game and answer your question properly about what this Brood War series is. I have like a lot of stuff in my head, but this game is like weird. <laughs> Fucking dire horn nature. That's so funny, man. This is very good. Back to work. No Victory. Start going face, man. Protect my board, you know what I mean? Hi Farms asking if I've watched any of the games in the Hearthstone Global Tournament. I, I really don't watch Hearthstone very much at all. Uh, in terms of the tournament scene, I watch streams because I like players talking about a deck and iterating on it, but... That's great. It's really great, yeah. I mean, if at first you don't succeed, RNG, 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 RNG. Hit me. Dude, if we win this game, it'll be so funny, man. Dude, I like this is two games in a row where I was like, yeah, no, I'm, we've lost. There's no way we can't win. We cannot win. We cannot win. Board control. All right, what's it gonna be? Shifter Z, huh? Dude, Malkarok into Gorahal into Lethal. I'm calling it right now, man. Never stop shadow stepping. Oh my god. Um. You don't have any taunts in there. He can't kill me. He can't harm me. He's got to hit me four times. It's going to be tough. It's tough for him to hit me four times. He needs something very exacting. <gasps> he can't do it, can he? 
Unless it's a Vanish, and he's able to, he can attack two more times, and then this also needs to be a bounce, but it can't be a bounce, that's a Vanish. Oh my god, are we serious? Are we serious? <laughs> well, we've won two games in a row. So, I think I don't necessarily need this. I don't need this, that's right. Make it work. <laughs> Let's explore. Oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah, Brood War talk time. Let me tell you what we're going to do. So, point of the Brood War series is going to be all about getting into Brood War. So, from the playing side of things, there's a couple categories. There's mechanics. Mechanics are more important yeah. than Brood War than almost any other game. They're like so consistently in your death. face. Like, a lot of games involve spikes of motion. Like in Counter-Strike, you're looking down a hallway and there's a guy, click, bam! You know, you try to flick over and get it. There's like a spike of, ah! But, um... In Brood War, it's essentially one continuous spike of action. How do you then, therefore, manage all your buildings and all your units and simply tell things to go where they need to go? What are all the tricks to that? Um, so that's like one big thing. It's like mechanics. I'm doing a lot of talking about that. Uh, second one, I want to talk a lot about mindset, expectation management, well getting you to understand what, um, what and how you should be thinking. For instance, if you lose to a single attack in the first 10 minutes, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. You'll actually do that a lot. I actually call this the hump in Brood War. There's a hump where there's like 15 strategies you kind of need to mentally keep track of in those first 10 minutes. And if you slip up, you can just lose. And that's that's totally normal and totally fine and that's not a big deal. Your game will be over in six minutes and you can queue up and just play another game again. Um, what, what am I, a pirate warrior? So mindset trying to make sure you have the proper mindset when you're going into the game and that your expectations are met properly. Also, in uh, e emotional management I want to talk about a lot because Brood War has a certain level of intensity to it that is tough for people who have not played that sort of game before. I want to talk about that, right? Like, you play something like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, which I was playing on Friday. The game's fun. It's a really, really fun game. And if you just suddenly die, that's fine. You suddenly die all the time in the game. And it feels totally fine. But in Brood War, when you lose, it's completely and utterly your fault and you could have not lost. And you're also trying to manage all your base all the time, so it's like really stressful, right? So uh, once again, we got um, mechanics, you know, having the right expectation set, having the right emotions management. Things like basic matchup understanding, reviewing each of the matchups, roughly how they work, discussing each unit, all the control implications and behavior for each of those units, like a simple guide to like, how does, how does kind of ish a zealot work, you know? Uh, can I, I can't quite do this. But I can do it like this and that's good enough for me. Um, I want to talk about things like planning a strategy, refining a strategy, thinking about how to do economy management, all these sorts of things, because Brood War is a very weird, intertwined overlay of many, many different games happening all at once. So that's, that's one piece. That's like the learning how to play the game properly thing. And then the other side that I want to do is history and lore and game review. Let's look at a high-level game. Let's talk about why these things are just so amazing and brilliant and on point. So there's, there's, I, I, I think they're actually cutting a baby in half with a bandsaw outside or something. It's loud. It's very loud. So I'm very sorry for the interruptions. I think I'm going to play this and play that. Yeah. It is he of the infinite armor. This is going to be nice. Pain. 
Pants536 says there's a Twitch channel that plays old Brood War VODs 24-7. Yeah, man, Medry BW. I think it might be my most frequently watched uh, Twitch channel. I have a thing on, like, all the time. This jungle hides many secrets. Okay. This is okay. Slam it. This is like a very nice set of cards to have. Executes, we got Sleep with the Fishes, we got Ravaging Ghoul. This is this is this control paladin that is very popular. Sort of giveaway when you played Lost in the Jungle on turn one. Why are you doing the Funday Money style show for SE Brutal at some point? Maybe, maybe. Maybe those those were hard. Those were a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. By the no. holy light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Value. Can you kill this guy and kill this guy, man. It's no problem. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I gotta be careful about the order that I play this in, though. So OG Dance says, how tough is Brutal Ladder? I'm afraid I'll be queuing it to people who have been playing for 10 plus years and won't get past the cheesy stuff. Let me let me know right away, that's one of the big purposes of the video series, is like to just hopefully get you in the right direction. Like, here's here's a true here's a true statement. In Zerg vs. Zerg, you build Zergrings, Mutas, and Scourge, and that's it. That's it. That those are all of the things that you build. Really? This kind of seems a little useful, yeah. This could be good if we get the Don Han on it, man. What now? This I just think is too funny, so we're gonna choose that one. He builds Zerglings, Mutas, and Scourge. Those, those are the only units you build. That's it. That's it. It's the only things that you build. And so, you know, I've been playing someone 1.18. I'm against someone who, like, expands and makes two Sunkins in a Hydralisk den. And I'm like, okay, he loses. He immediately loses. That's it. You build zero other units. Those are the units that you build. And you might say, I've seen a game where someone did this and this. That's like the .0001% of Zerg vs. Zergs. Can't believe it went on Medivh, that's amazing. Can't believe it. There's also, I think, an expectation management thing, which is like, who are you playing against? Here, here's one of the things I want to talk about. Like, who are you playing against when you're actually playing? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit, man. All right, well. No, I'm doing this shit, man. Oh, she has eight cards? Yeah. One, two. So we're at ten cards, so we, we gotta be able to play one. Well, that's just awesome. Um. God, that is so loud. No way. Okay. Shit, dude. My hand is too full. Sick. Oh god. I think I need a slightly less card draw on this deck. <laughs> I think I actually mistimed my Angoro. 
if I had to make that criticism. Oh my god, that is so fun. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's done. It doesn't get to me. It doesn't really bother me very much, I gotta be honest with you, man. It's really fine. It's really fine. What's seven mana thing? Sunkeeper Tyrim? Well, first things first, we gotta be really careful about our card draw here. <coughs> oh! God, that is the loudest thing. Hell yeah! Somehow I neglected to know that that thing would live through it, but it doesn't matter. be as loud for you as it is for me, but it's like fucking loud. It's fucking loud. Oh! I'm a good promoter, you dick. Oh yeah, go in for the face. Oh, come on. I want, I want an expensive spell, man. I want an expen- I just shrunk the game. Go, go Get huge again, please. I, I messed up because I was trying to click this and then I shrunk the screen. And now I've messed up, so I'm gonna get a, a good old one mana guy. You know. <laughs> get him. That is a sick one drop. Oh my god. Yes. But yeah, there's this, there's this idea when you're playing any game that you're trying to overcome the opponent, right? Like, okay, I am... Oh, 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 he's gonna get moshed so hard. Oh my god, I'm gonna hit him right in the mosh. Bring it on. Bring it in. Let's get in with it. I have so many moshes, I can actually be very greedy with this. Watch this sick mosh play. Um... Actually, I, I cannot. I cannot afford to be that greedy, I don't think. Actually, I'm gonna do it like this. We're gonna play a little, a little careful, a little cautious. Let's get the three mana spell now, man. Boom. Shit. Yes, that's exactly what I want, quite frankly. Okay. <laughs> okay. I always win. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to, I'm starting to learn how important it is for me to hold on to those whirlwinds because then I'll get King Mosh. I get King Mosh such a high percentage of the time. I like listen. The number one thing I want to do is just kill Tyrion. I just want to kill Tyrion and hit him with the with the GUs, man. <clears throat> oh shit! Oh shit! Are we getting a quality consecrated? Welcome to the jungle. Reporting for duty. Find a holy land. Is that bad? Is this bad? This <laughs> jungle <laughs> Nice. This is a fun deck. This is really fun. God, I think I gotta finish this point. Yeah, in a lot of other multiplayer games, you're playing against the other opponent, right? Um, trying to think of what he's doing, respond to what he's doing, and most of the game is about him and what's up with him. Uh, but in in Brood War, a lot of it is you being just organized enough. 
Um, it is both a race where you are in parallel with one another, trying to um, get past each other in terms of your executional abilities, but also like a competition where you're trying to obviously battle against one another. So, player secret, player secret, you big butt. So we're gonna attack in case it's noble sacrifice. Now we're not gonna attack. We don't have any units anymore. May as well do this, yeah. So we have a few turns in order to win this. Oh shit! That's so fucking bad! Holy light. Wow! <laughs> so there's a lot of like just trying to get better at your own base management, which is one of the reasons I, I actually find playing Brood War really satisfying and rewarding is that, I, I mean, I can always be working on that, you know? Like, I can play a game and lose and say, hell, I don't even need to think about what he's doing. I just need to get off better at my own execution, right? This is really important to do so I can, like, pop, 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 King Mosh. It's good. It's a lot of stats. He's probably gonna Consecration and, like, hit, hit, which sucks, but, you know. Man, I really like playing Brood War. I played I played an actually tight game. It was it was awesome. What a big dick. I have to do this, right? Because there's no way for me to King Mosh and live. That's nearly good for us. That's really good. Jesus, this is a, this is a good pack. Fuck. <laughs> Why isn't it... What? This... Oh... So I think our only hope at this point is this, right? I think that is correct. I guess this. I mean, we're getting some really nice high-value cards. Pyrus is cool. Get down! He doesn't have any true silvers left, because we, <laughs> we fucking we milled one. Uh, this is going to be nice. This is going to be nice to play, Swamp King Dread. Thing fucking up. Is this thing reporting for duty? I'm almost out of cards. I think I arranged this thing properly. Oh, I'm gonna check something real fast. Oops, that's the wrong button. All right, let's think through our turny turn, huh? Still have a King Mosh, which is nice. What now? You shall pay for your insolence. God! Let me 
see this. Why is my logo not, or why is the deck tracker not snap to grid? Why is it doing that? Well played. Just hit some console. Reporting for two. So my deck tracker, uh, when I did the accident tweakeroo, seems to have moved. Oh yeah, I forgot that he has that one. That's fine. All right, options. How do I? Windows. General. Unlock overlay, so I can move this thing. Nope, nope, nope. Ah. Let me move you. So isn't this software great? You can just like nicely align things like that. Yes, lock it. All right, let's continue to explore and grow. Yeah. Drives me nuts when my shit isn't pretty. You see, we lost, we lost the game. We dropped like 500 ranks. Yeah, that's better. That looks better. I think I want to cut this guy, I think, but I'm going to instead keep him. She's exploit. Um, so you're a questy guy. So I guess I will want to hit him with the draws. This is a nice combo. Elite. Like, we've played three games thus far, and the games have felt okay. They felt okay, right? I love the double gluttonous ooze. This is just, this is like totally just awesome. It's the number one reason. Jesus, that's so sick. This is fine because I have several other whirlwind effects in the deck that are going to be absolutely adequate. Uh oh! His weapon's gone! I actually just slam here, re-equip, go in for a little bit of a little bit of F damage. Oh! I hope you like my invention. As the top said, I had a lovely day and I moment earlier today. I was walking into my living room and a scorpion was just chilling on the wall and my spine evaporated. I then donned heavy hiking boots and hit on a chair while attempting to kill it. Yeah, no, I don't like bugs. I mean, you don't know this. I really don't like bugs. I am an I am anti-bug. I should have just gone for the face there. He's done three, right? Or he has third one in the hand at least. <laughs> I hate bugs. I hate bugs. Bugs. No. My only hope is that he fills his entire board now. See, Nava's Engineer scares me a lot more than Swashburglar does. Well, shit ass. We're gonna take a trip to the face next turn. That's good, that's what I wanted. Two sleeps with the fishes. God, we got a good hand. <laughs> oh, 
don't see a better time to use that. This is good. I can, like, brawl right away. Oh, man. Damn. Nuclear Nibble says, I'm not sure whether you talked about this before, but have you considered playing Snake Pass? I've been playing a lot of it, and it was, a hell, it was fun as hell. That's the one where you're the snake that can, like, coil around and move and stuff. God, this gear just didn't steal so sharp. Come on, play nerds, Doc. Come on, Doc. Oh, man. See, I'm, I'm just scared about the Chargers. That's awesome. Yep, that is the deck. <laughs> yes, summon an army, summon an army. See, here, here's here's the best feint ever, right? So we, we fainted hard. He's now, we expect, going to be building his whole board big now. Because he knows I can't have more brawls with his journey to Angoro, you know? May as well choose our path first, you know. <laughs> I'm doing this first. This is this is how I'm gonna finish him. Uh. Nuclear nipples. Wow, you know, I, I've seen Snake Path. It, it looks like a 3D platformer, but you're a snake. Alright, now there's no way Day9 can possibly have more stuff, right? He may as well just keep running things out. Drink with me, friend. <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, man, that's good. Huh? I'm probably this, though. <laughs> Alright. Oh, Tar Lord! <laughs> Tar Lord! <laughs> decks that make me laugh. Those are fun. Mm. Vanish. That's good. That's a damn good man. <laughs> On to ours. This platform isn't the right word. More like slither former. Well... <laughs> We could lose. We could lose. It is true. Alright. 511 from heaven. Believe 
We got a car creeper world man. That is sick. Oh my god, stabbed in the back. Alright, it's time for the army of biles. Sequestro actually played his deck like super well. He like held tons of stuff in his hand for a long time. Alright, so the real question is, can we just simply rip exactly what we need? This could be useful. Thank you. We're gonna need some cheap guys. I think we died. We lost. Didn't work. Didn't work. <laughs> we we've had like hundreds of rank swings, man. Hundreds of points of rank swings. Man. This is so savage. Jaina, you asked for it. Victory or death. Now, one of the big decks that I want to make today is a Pyros Control deck. Pyros Control Mage. I got it. I got it. Our last button played real well, man. He, he earned that one, man. He earned it. Good job, guy. You earned it. I actually have been drinking so much water that I'm going to use the restroom while on air. Flareable, flareable, flareable. He's running away! Where's he gonna go? Oh my god! Turn. Is he gonna lose his turn? Oh! Ugh. Ugh. Oops. It's my bad. Bam. I'm in a low energy mood today. I'm gonna be very honest with all y'all. I feel a little low energy. It's a secret. What could it be? I guess he's freeze. Excuse me, you are on fire. Guess he's a freezy guy. This discovery, it's incredible. As someone who hit legend using. literally heard me wash my hands. You should have heard it two times. I turned on the sink to fill it with water, used the restroom, came back, washed my hands. Got my water again. Mm. Here's a question I have for you. What's the longest, most boring stream you've ever watched? Like, what happened? And I don't mean like a deliberately boring stream like when they played Desert Bus.
I'm talking about just like, you're just out of your mind, insane bored. And you just keep watching. I ask this because I'm just, I'm just low energy today. I'm just enjoying myself some derpy Hearthstone. I can feel my brain not quite wanting to make connections, you know what I mean? I watched him sleep for two hours. <laughs> what player was that, Robbie? I wonder. Pioneer says, yeah, crypt opening packs is pretty bad. See, I feel like, in theory, that's pretty bad. But somehow I always watch crypt a lot. So I always tune in and I'm like, oh my god, it's just it's so it's so loud the thing in the background. This this guy's gonna be a nut draw right here, man. This guy's gonna be critical. I'm telling you right now, man. I mean I can't say no to a cold light or a This is gonna be critical, man. He's gonna start getting us low. Start healing up. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be sick. Watching someone else play Battleground. I find Battleground more fun to watch now that I've actually played it. Cold light for the mill. He, he has not drawn his draw very much, so. This is probably the one time Mana played Fire Kick on Akalon Waste was an over two hour game. Wait, no, wasn't that a four hour game? What to do? I'm pretty what sure that game, because I, I watched that game too. Because I turned it off and turned it back on and turned it off and turned it back on. Was it four hours? Was it three hours? Oh my god, it was actually only. Oh no, it was three in game hours. And, but uh, it, was, well, it was actually two hours. That's right, because they record the time. Okay. Seriously, though, Skyrim scream very good low energy stream. Oh, Skyrim's amazing. Okay, so kind of you to join me. Okay, well, I, I think I'm gonna have to shield slam. Where's my gluttonous ooze at, man? Where's my gluttonous ooze at? <laughs> I forgot the fucking device cleaner existed, man. <laughs> That is a funny ass card. Hmm. When are you gonna play the Witcher Three, man? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little committed to shit lately. I think maybe the second half of 2017 is gonna be RPG marathon time. Turn to it, says, oh, fuck me, RuneScape streams. What to do RuneScape do fascinates me, man. I, like, kind of want to get into RuneScape now. All right, we got to discover the nuts here. I can also just play a giant Mastodon. It seems tight. All right. Should you guys decide on the next Mostly Walking game? Yeah, we're going to play a Wajidai games game. Probably, uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's, like, Resolution. I think is what it is. Ben Melhad says, Sean, maybe you really want to play PUBG, but I have no friends and PCs are ripped. I gotta say, I think Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is the sort of game that I have zero interest in playing by myself. <laughs> like, none. That is a hard cast meteor, man. That is 
fucking inspiring. No way. Oh my god, it's a hard cast. Holy shit. Guess this. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Dude, I don't even know anymore, man. Yeah. Resonance, that's what it's called. Resonance, that's what I'm playing. Yeah, like, like, th there's games that I feel like speak to me in some way. Like, they just, it, get, it gets me in here where I'm like, Wow, that is, that's my shit right there. That's what that is. And, so this is like a value freeze mage. That is a really interesting additional piece to the puzzle. I mean, I'm nearly certain I've, I've died. Um... I really want to make Pyrus control much. I really, really, very badly do. We're gonna do it, it's gonna be good. Anyways. Game, like Dota 2, I just think all the different characters and strategy intersection is so cool. I love that. Ori in the Blind Forest. Oh, Dark Souls. It just got in here. I feel it just. This yearn for Dark Souls. Like, I just. Oh, like, I'm really excited for Hollow Knight. I'm gonna be playing Hollow Knight coming up here. I need draw here, yeah. Cause I didn't, I, I confused Hollow Knight with Night in the Woods. I didn't realize that there was another tip top ranker um, um, Metroidvania game out there. I like, I, I cannot wait. Like, there's these games out there that just, like, they just grab me. They just... Oh, wow. But... Um... What am I talking about? Games grab me, games grab me. Oh, yeah, but, like, with PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds, like, it's just cool. It's, I think it's cool. It just, it doesn't quite... Get me. It's just it's just such a good social teamwork game. Job's done. You know, I think it's, this this is gonna be my last game. I wanna make this Pyro's control mage. Says, have you ever played any of the, of the RTS games like Empire Earth, Age of Empires? Yeah, yeah. Played Age of Empires, Age of Mythology. Since we're, since we're going to be doing a break segment in a moment, let's just say welcome to all the new folks. Welcome, everyone, to a uh, very chill little stream. And we're having today. Back Sapper, six months. Hello. Father, three months. It's been more like two years now. I've seen you for a long time, Father. It's good to have you back. RM Guitar Man, brand new. Hello, welcome. Darth Dr. Dog. Good to see you. 21 months. Jugger Nips. <laughs> Happy three months. Proto Guy 777. Half a year. Hey, Antor 2001. Four months. Boom. This is not going to be our last game. We're going to play another one. 
Perfection Fox is 29 months. Lovely. Lord Moldywart, 25 months. That's so good. Your, your blemish that shall not be named. Simo Jervy for five months. ABG, straight seven. Iridium Guardian, six months. Ishimaru, five. Frank Storm, two months. Kiyo Taka, six months. Glarg, four months. Garen Marigo, 20 months. That name flows right off the tongue. That is so good. Garen Marigo. Everything I ever needed. On Lynn, 34 months, two months from three year sub hype. Oh my god. You'll have a toddler. A toddler of a subscription. Hey, we can explore it twice. That's good news. You sup, brand new. Welcome. Nuclear Nibble, seven months. Just past half a year. We'll round up. Happy year anniversary. Solid Kong, 11 months. Happy. Yeah, happy year anniversary. Geezel, 20 months. I know you, five. Derubisoft. Bold, I'm brave, I misbehave. Doing it. Felix dot house cat. Happy three months. Cam 4K just subbed. Welcome. Lethal haircut for two months. A lethal haircut. Dick Waggling just subbed. Hey, how's it going? Dick Waggling. It's very hard for him to do anything but give me two draws, yeah. Argus 9 just subbed. Four damn years. Why does it say. Why does it say that you just subbed? Why does it say that, Argus? Now you've been here forever. You know, happy four year anniversary. We got, we got to, we got to remember this, man. Something's going, something's going funky. We need good value cards, yeah. Value. I'm sorry, it's not how that happened. Phantom DS, 26 months. Er, er, er. Sweet Spider, 7 months. AMAK, MHP, straight subbing, attractive. Sub for 3 months. Buster Cloud, 288 for 7. Modell, 3, 3, 3. Sub for 23 months. C Tabby, 27 months. Who again, PS4, brand new. Welcome. Squanchy next Squanch, sub for 4 months. Guess Schwiffy. No, guess Squanchy, my friend. I'm in charge now. I'm in charge. I'm in charge now. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do the double D. This is actually just really powerful for us here. Very well. Very well. Give him cake. Benjamin four. Or, or Benjamin C4, seven months. Wow, that's a lot of months. It's a solid number of months. Doc Holiday TV just subbing. Hello. Hey, we played against each other in Hearthstone recently, didn't we? Did we play against each other? I remember playing against a Doc Holiday. Baron Sheep, seven months. Hey. Briggs Kellogg just subbing. Welcome. And Briggs Kellogg, I love that you joined. Just immediately began chatting in. That is so fantastical. Arr. This is bad. I'm like about to die, man. Health. I love that noise. Jump flash, seven months. Viking guy, 31. Just sub, just some guy, zero, seven months. Oh. If I made one single change to Brood War, what would you make? I'll show you after I get done reading this. Pinfeldorf, subscribe for 18 months. Hey, day nine, day nine, day heart. What up, Pinfeldorf? God, it's such a sick recommendation on Bird Damage. That is the most I've laughed in so long. Rotus Swag, just subbed. Bieru, three months. Been watching this 20. Oh my god, we're so screwed. And even games, sub for 14 months. Ge Geo spells go, just sub. Enter bro, three months. Bow fog, just sub. Causing shadow, just sub. Eric Gang, 158, just sub. Sabot, six, just sub. Robin da Bank, 23, 19 months. What a name. Blood is the mortar. Mashimaro, 87. Lavich Art. Welcome. <clears throat> Mashimaro, by the way, it was happy one year anniversary. Sorry, I didn't say that. I did that way too early, dude. Help? We die, though. He just goes like pop, pew, and above, happy almost two year anniversary, man. 
is BFT. Happy almost two year anniversary. Lardy, seven months. Is there any chance we can get some more CNC? I completely forgot I played that. Yeah, that that game's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that's that's very possible. Balfog also just subbed again. Is that another Balfog? There's two Balfogs. One capital B, one lowercase b. AT3 just subbed for two months. Pioneer seven months. Man, so many seven months anniversaries. Hell yeah. Jolsifer, guys, GG. Nubbed into ribs, 21 months. Brought a 5,000 in one four months. Guard the Great just subbed. JB911, 14 months. Zionara, seven months. Morg Vanny, four months. Squishy, three months. And Night Night, seven months. Always, it always takes me a moment. I'll be president, seven months. Jesus, so many. Double to Rainbow, 14 months. Demote God, seven months. Path the Beast 9, 3 months. Pigs of Recall, 15 months. Bone Dragon 75, 45 months! Oh my god, almost 4 years. Gentle Man Cynic, 38 months. Splinger, 6 months. Colin FTL, 2 months. Bellinar, 4 months. Mr. No, 1, 2, 3, 2 months. There's actually 3 months with Twitch Prime fucked up, so I decided to just sub regularly. Yes! Scary Forest 38, just sub. M. White Stone M. Alright, guys. Welcome to all of you. Say hello in chat. Are you fucking serious? You're not gonna let me do that? All right, let me let me let me show you. Let me show you the thing. But uh, there's this weird bug with uh, Brood War, where it just doesn't um, remove this. Doesn't let me do it sometimes. It's a little frustrating. Let me just remove. Why, why is my my Hearthstone overlays showing up as well? All right, I'm gonna show you show you the one change that I would make to Brood War. Right? Here's here's the one change. How do I get that damn overlay to stop showing up? You know, here, watch this. Let me. And it's gone. Good. Um, here, here's here's the one thing I would make. All right. Uh, Taryn. seems fine. Here's here's the one change. If I could change one thing. Okay. Okay. So so here we are. Now let me. Of course I know all the cheat codes. So there's something that's really important that happens a lot in Brood War, which is where you wind up... Uh, oops. You wind up with more units that you can control. Alright. In a, in a control group of 12. I thought I did this. Food for thought. So let me show you something that will happen a lot. To you and Brood War. So, for any of you who don't know this, see all these Marines? I can only select 12 of them. That's the maximum number of things that I can hold. So, this is Control 1, and these shall be Control 2. Alright? Now, you know what's really common if you want to move a whole bunch of guys around? One right click, two right click, right? This is one of my favorite feelings in all the world, is trying to get two sets of dudes. Move places. And you know what's an even more common thing? 1A left click, 2A left click. 1A left click, 2A left click. Right? You know what I'm talking about? Right? 1A left click, 2A left click. I want you to notice something. If I hit. Let me do this in slow motion. 1. Now I'm. Holding the A button, I'm holding it, I'm holding it, and I left click, and it registers, right? One, I'm holding A, and then I left click, and it registers. But, notice that if I go one, A, I'm holding the A button, I hit left click, and I'm holding left click, I'm holding it, I'm pressing two, and it's not selecting. Okay? Because I'm holding left click right now, I'm holding this mouse button. And if I let go of it, now it selects two. I hate this. Because <laughs> it, does, it doesn't do this in StarCraft 2. In StarCraft 2, anything you hit just registers. And so, you'll often wind up in a spot where you are in a hurry to one click, two click. Or one A click, two A click. You want to do it fucking fast, right? But you know what happens? You want to retreat, and you go one, right click, hit two, and it doesn't select. And so your control group two never goes. So, 
you know, like, again, to show that again, I'll go one right click, two right click. Oh, I didn't hold it. One right click, two right click, and it doesn't move. So, um, this is this is the the struggle that I'm having in Google right now. Is you just have to be really precise about lifting up your mouse hand a lot. So that's what I would change. That would be a thing that I'd change. So we're gonna take a brief break. I'm gonna get some more water and some more coffee, and we're going to make a Pyros control deck. Yeah, it's gonna be sick.